What's up YouTube? In this video we're going to talk about the most common power box wiring mistake I have seen in the last few years. So in this video I'm going to show you how to identify this problem in your existing power box. We're going to talk about why it's an issue, why it could be a, a potential fire hazard, and stick, make sure you stick around to the end of the video because I'm going to show you how to fix it. It's going to be real quick, real fast and easy. Here we go. Okay, so let's talk about the fuse block here. So what's a fuse block do? So a fuse block provides short circuit protection for each individual component of the uh, power box. The bad thing about these things is they're often wired incorrectly. And it also takes more wires. Um, and it's just not as clean. Go ahead and check your power boxes. Pull all these fuses out and turn all your switches on. Turn everything on on your power box. If something turns on, your power box is not wired correctly. And you're really gonna wanna watch this video. Before we get really into it, let's uh, let's talk about why we we do this, why we put these in. Um, short circuit protection, what is short circuit, circuit protection? Well, that's basically keeps things from getting hot. So Ohm's law tells us when we have a short, our voltage goes down, our current goes up, and our resistance is pretty much nothing. So the problem is right here, when our current goes up really, really high, things get hot, things start on fire. So um, that's, that's why we don't watch shorts. That's why we have little fuses in these things. Those fuses will, will open the circuit. And when that circuit opens, the exact opposite happens here. Your resistance goes up, your current goes down, and your voltage goes up. Uh, just out of curiosity, leave me a comment below. I want to know if your power box, if it's a DIY box or if someone built it. So just, just out of curiosity, you don't need to name drop or anything. But um, So this is your battery. This is the B12. So B12 is the positive battery. Um, so you got B12. This is right here. This is a typical how most of them are wired up that I've seen. Uh, battery. B12 going straight to the master switch, MSW, master switch. And then your B12 from master switch going to voltmeter. So here's an example of the switch, master switch. And when, when you wire these up, that brass one right there, that's negative. We're not showing negative here. We don't care about negative right now. Then that's going to go to that voltmeter that typically look, look like this. Again, brass lead, silver uh, tab there. That brass is again before your negative, silver is for your positive. And then it goes onto the fuse block. Well, the problem here, guys, is this. This is what's going to start a fire in your box. Because all your short circuit protection is past that. Okay? This is your fuse block, and each one of these um, tabs here are going to each indiv individual component. And providing short circuit protection for those components, but it doesn't do it. It doesn't do anything behind it. So, right here, that's where your positives coming coming in. It's a battery, master switch, voltmeter, positives coming in here. These are going to different uh, components. There's no short circuit protection behind this block. The easiest way to fix that is this little guy here. So this is an inline fuse holder and they're super cheap, you can get them, I have them on site, you can get them on Amazon, I don't care, get them wherever you want to get them, just get one and put it in. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to put this guy between your battery and your very first component, so your master switch. So we're going to do a inline fuse, this is a 10 amp fuse. That way, if these switches or that, if that switch or that voltmeter um, shorts out, that's gonna, that's gonna trip that. And so that's gonna open that connection so things don't get hot. The thing is with this, if you're running a sealed lead acid battery, don't use your box. Don't use your box until you get this fixed. Uh, with a lithium battery, that BMS will more than likely catch it and just turn your box off. 
that's it's generally not a good policy to rely on your BMS for short circuit protection. That's why we still put all these in the boxes we build. But if you're running a uh, sealed lead acid battery, yeah, guys, please just put an inline fuse in here. Hate to see. I've seen a few fires already from from guys doing it like this. So when we wire boxes, we wire them all with this right here. Uh, we don't even use fuse blocks because um, it's pretty much just redundant protection. We already have a, a BMS. We have this, and then add the fuse box. Just you know why? Um, if you want to see how we wire our boxes in house, I show you everything in this video up here. Do me a favor before you guys go. Hit that like button, hit that subscribe button, Help, helps us out a bunch. Share this video with your buddies. Appreciate you guys watching. We're gonna talk about... In this video, we're gonna talk about the most common... In this video, we're gonna talk about the... So, the easiest way for you guys to fix that Make sure you stick around to the end of the video where we're gonna, oh, you distracted me. I love you, thanks.